What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So today, we're actually gonna be getting a modification installed on my 2019 Dodge Challenger SXT. Let me go ahead and show that to you real quick. So we're gonna be getting this lift replaced with the SRT style uh, lower air dam. It's the one that you see on the scat packs and on the new GTs and RTs. And, uh, and this is it right here. This is the lip. And um, you do need two close up panels. I'll show you those in the car. Excuse if there's any wind noise. It's uh, pretty uh, cloudy. It's supposed to start raining pretty soon. So let's go ahead and hop in the car. All right, let's go ahead and get a little cold start. Ooh, I love that sound. All right, here we are pulling up to the dealership. Look at that beautiful Scat Pack Charger and Hell Raisin. But here we are pulling up at the dealership. Gonna pull over here at the service department. And so what we're doing is, since you know the hours that I work, I'm gonna be dropping off the Challenger here and they're gonna keep it overnight and they're gonna install it tomorrow. And then tomorrow when I get out of work, I'll be able to swing by and pick it up. So unfortunately, Athena, you're gonna stay here overnight, but you will look really good tomorrow when I pick you up. Oh, also, these are the closeout panels I was talking about. These go on the splitter. Links for this and the splitter will be in the description down below. So let's go drop her off and then we'll be back tomorrow. All right guys, so it is the next day and the dealership just called me and they said that the Challenger is ready. So we're in the edge right now and we're gonna head up the road to the dealership and we're gonna go pick her up. Pick up the keys and see how she looks. Nah, it's cool. Okay. They say you in case you want it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, so just wrap that up. Just got the keys and I'm coming over here to her. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. guys so we finally got the lower air dam installed and it looks freaking beautiful a couple things i want to say real quick number one i apologize for the wind it is kind of windy outside number two just kind of a continuity thing uh, i did get a new tattoo so i had dropped the challenger off uh earlier in the week to get that installed and i had given the challenger a really good wash just that way number one it could look good for the video number two um, I'm just kind of weird anytime I have to take the Challenger anywhere or any of my vehicles anywhere to have any kind of work done on it, whether it be tint, uh, mechanical, anything. I always like to drop it off clean. And um, it sat outside the day that I dropped it off and it rained. But it wasn't like a downpour, it was kind of like a drizzle. And uh, I don't know, the Challenger just got really dirty. It had like dust spots all over it. And then um, from the dealership putting it on, there was like dusty handprints on the bumper. So I did not want to film the Challenger like that. So it is the next weekend. And this morning I woke up and gave the Challenger a really good wash. That's why she looks so freaking beautiful. And now we're filming the video. So one thing I'm pretty sure some of you guys might be wondering is why did I get it installed at a dealership rather than doing it myself? Well, honestly, um, time played a big factor into it. Um, I'm really, really busy nowadays. Um, I work all day monday through friday from six in the morning to about five six in the evening so um, by the time i get out of work um, i don't have very much daylight left and by the time i do get home the last thing i feel like doing is tearing the car apart and uh even on the weekends i do work some saturdays every now and then um even then on the weekends it's just go 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 i'm just so busy so um i just really haven't had time to uh put that on another factor that kind of played into why i took it to the 
scholarship to get it put on rather than doing it myself is I currently live in an apartment and um, if you don't know in order to put this on you have to take the whole front bumper off and um, it's a very kind of complex process there's some skid plates under the car that have to come off the front bumper have to come off and um, I just kind of don't have the space to do that myself now going into it I did not originally want to take it to the Dodge dealership I did want to take it to a body shop I wanted to take it to all pro paint and body in Victoria Texas that's the same shop that did the insurance repair on the Challenger and um, so I wanted to take it to them but the main problem is that a lot of these body shops they're only open Monday through Friday I work Monday through Friday so it's just kind of difficult getting the timing out now the Dodge dealership is actually open on Saturday so it made it a little bit easier for me to uh, kind of take the Challenger drop it off and have that work done to it so what ended up happening was I dropped off the Challenger at the Dodge dealership when I got out of work and um, I did that so that way they can have the Challenger the whole following day so that way they could put that lower air dam on. Now even with them having to lift the tools and um, the diagrams on how this goes on, it still took them pretty much all freaking day to put this on. I don't know why, but for some reason Dodge made putting that lower air dam on such a complex process. And um, so yeah, I just feel like me being in an apartment, not really having the space, not really having the time, it would have just been more of a headache than anything trying to put that on myself. But it looks really freaking good. I could not be happier. This is something I have wanted to do to the Challenger literally since the day I bought it. Between the lower air dam and the wheels and tires, she looks freaking amazing and I could not be any happier. One thing that I do really love about this uh, lower air dam is it just kind of makes the front end look a little beefier. It makes it, you know, look a little bit bigger up here versus that small one. So yeah, between that and the wheels and tires, I just could not be happier with how she looks. So if you like the way that looks, you want to do it for yourself, I will put a link for it in the description. It is a genuine Mopar product, so I will leave that part number in the description as well. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I believe I bought it for like 200 bucks and the Dodge dealership actually only put it on for $50. So could not get any better than that so i think that's gonna about wrap up today's video um i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to let me know with a big thumbs up also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about that let me know if your challenger has one and if it doesn't let me know if you plan on upgrading yours so if you aren't already be sure to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram the links for all those will be in the description down below and until my next video take care and be safe peace